Hi team. Okay, today we get to read a really awesome story. And it's a story about kids all around the world and they're about your age. So the title of this story is called This Is How We Do It and it's written by Matt Lamont. And he wrote a story based off of seven real families all around the world. And we're gonna get to follow some of those stories today. We're gonna get to connect those kids to ourselves, and we're also gonna make connections to the world. I know that this week, whew, it's been a chaotic week. Maybe you felt upset about things or confused. And if you're like Miss Shea, you felt really curious about the coronavirus. And so we've talked about how we can play our part in the virus. That means we can stay at home, we can cover our mouth when we cough, we can wash our hands, and we can keep doing our learning from our house. So it's not just our school team, or our community team, or our St. Louis City, or even the state. It's bigger than that. And so kids just like you all around the world have to do their part. So we're gonna get to read about them today. Sitting up so straight and tall, this is how we do it. So I'm gonna show you, this is a map, okay? And so we are in the United States, we're right there. And we're gonna follow along with three other kids today. Let me show you. We're gonna follow along with Keon. He's from Iran, right there, wow. We're gonna get to learn about Anya, from India, and we're also gonna get to learn about Romeo from Italy. And so there's other kids in this story, but I picked Romeo, Anya, and Kian to help us make connections to self and to the world because I'm thinking that you may have heard about their countries. Maybe you've heard their country's name on the news, or maybe an adult's been talking about them. But people from Italy, people from India and people from Iran, even though they're far away from us and they live in a different place, they're still being affected by the coronavirus too. And so we're gonna get to learn about how we're the same as them, but also how we might feel a little bit different than them. So let's show me, show me how it's the same, 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 yeah. And show me different, yeah. So when you're connecting yourself to this story and you hear something that's the same, you can do this, yeah. But if you hear something that's different than you, you can do this. And that's gonna help us make connections to self and connections to the world. Let's get started. Italy, my name is Romeo and I'm called Mio. I'm eight years old. I live in a house in the village of Cordonano with a vineyard in my backyard. A vineyard is like a garden that grows grapes. I live with my mom, Francesca, my dad, Oscar, my big brother, Ugo, and my older sister, Mila. I wear different clothes every day, but my favorite is the dinosaur sweater. For breakfast, I have toast with Nutella spread, a cup of egg yolks mixed with sugar and milk, and tea. This is how I go to school. I ride a school bus past rivers and canyons, grape and olive fields, sometimes spotting a shepherd and his sheep. This is how we learn. We do many activities outside the classroom, like visit parks and forests, go to the museums in other cities, and put on a musical at the end of the year. We have school from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. I write in Italian using the Latin alphabet, Romeo. And this is what I eat for lunch. I have ravioli with sage and cheese and water. Sage is an herb that people use in Italian cooking. This is how I play. I have rock throwing contests in the hills behind my house. And this is how I help. I feed our four cats and some wild ones that come to our backyard. This is how we eat dinner. Sometimes during the week, my family eats separately, but we always eat together on the weekends. We gather at the kitchen table around eight o'clock to eat lasagna with ragu bolognese and bicamol sauce. 
We drink peach iced tea and water. In the evening, I work on model cars with my dad. This is where I sleep. I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with a down blanket that I use in the winter time. Were there some ways that you were the same, 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 but also different than Mia? Yeah. So I'm making a connection to myself. That's what we'll do first. Because Mio rode to school in a school bus. That's how he got there. That's how he transported. But some of my kids ride to school in a school bus too. Now it's a little different because my kids ride past big city buildings because we go to school in the city. But it looks like he rides past shepherds and his sheep. Now I also am making a connection to the world. Show me that. Connection to the world. And I'm making a connection to the world when Neo told me about what he learns at school. Because it said that he learns a lot through activities, like going to the forest and parks. And this is something like I heard on the news. I heard that people in Italy weren't really leaving their houses and they had to stay put to stay safe and healthy. And so now I'm better understanding that this coronavirus is really affecting Neo, just like it's affecting me too. So we used a connection to our self and feelings and a connection to world events to better understand the text. Give yourselves a hula hula, hula hula, hula hula. Let's read about our next character. India. My name is Anya and I'm called Anu. I'm eight years old. I live in a first floor apartment in the northern city of Haridwar along the fast flowing Ganges River. The Ganges River flows through northern India and Bangladesh and is the most sacred river for Hindus. That means it's really important to them. I live with my mom, Chief, my dad, Mohit, and my younger sister, Annika. This is what I wear to school. My uniform includes a special ID card I wear, like a necklace. For breakfast, I have paneer paratar with tomato chutney and milk. Paneer paratar is an Indian flatbread, and it's stuffed with cottage cheese and fried in oil. Yum! To get to school, my mom drives me and my friends in a van through busy streets, past hotels, shops, and cows that freely roam the roads. At school, we study general awareness and value education, as well as subjects like math, Hindi, and English. General awareness is a subject in India and it includes lessons about culture, geography, and politics from different countries. They also study value education. It's a subject taught in parts of India that includes lessons on basic manners and moral values. I write in Hindi using the Devanagari alphabet. For lunch, I have chapati, okra, a chocolate cookie, and water. Chapati can be made by slapping dough between your palms. This is how we play. I gather with all my friends in the park to play Rumal Chor or Hanky Thief. Hanky Thief is like a variation of an American game Duck Duck Goose and the thief secretly drops a handkerchief behind one of the players in a circle while the group sings a song. Once the hanky is found, the player chases the thief who tries to get to the vacant seat before being caught. Yeah, that does remind me of Duck Duck Goose. This is how I help. I hang wet laundry on clotheslines to dry. My whole family eats dinner together around 9 o'clock in our dining room. We have chutney, carrots and potatoes, chapati and yogurt with water to drink. In the evening, my sister and I play a board game called carom. Carom is where you try to flick discs into the four corner of pockets. And this is where I sleep. I sleep on a huge bed next to my sister and my parents. Isn't that interesting to learn about how Anya from India can sometimes be the same as, same as us, but also different? Yeah, it makes me more curious about people around the world. So first I'm gonna make a connection to myself. When Anya talked about playing the game, it reminded me of a time that I played Duck Duck Goose. And so I miss playing with all of my friends, and now I'm noticing that Anya from India probably misses playing with all of her friends during the coronavirus too. 
And then I started making a connection to the world. And so Anya's story seemed really similar to the real world because she talked about how her teacher taught her to write her name. And so even though we wrote our names differently, yeah, we write our names in a different language, it still made me realize that Anya is probably having to do her learning from home just like I am. Yeah, so that better helps me better understand what people around the world are doing to help protect themselves too. Okay, let's read about our last character. I ran. My name is Keon, and I'm seven years old. I live in a second floor apartment in the city of Gorgon, close to the Caspian Sea. The Caspian Sea is between Europe and Asia, and it's the largest inland body of water. I live with my mom, Maso, my dad, Mohammed, and my little brother, Aaron. This is what I wear to school. I wear a uniform that has a jacket with a built-in shirt collar. For breakfast, I have Babari bread, eggs, feta cheese, walnuts, and tea with sugar. Babari bread is a thick, flat bread, and it's usually eaten with cheeses. My mom or dad drives me in our car. We zoom past construction sites, office buildings, and people going to work. I go to an all-boys school. We study reading and writing in Farsi, math, science, and the Quran. The Quran is a really important religious text for people of Islamic faith. I write in Farsi using the Persian alphabet. That's my name. I have Adas Polo, fresh greens and herbs, salad, and water. This meal is an Iranian dish, and it has rice, lentils, onions, raisins, spices, and it's served with meat or veggies. I love it. I go horseback riding with my friends at a nearby stable. This is how I help. I help take care of my little brother. On weekends, we all eat dinner together. But on weekdays, it's just my mom, little brother, and me. We eat in the kitchen around 9 o'clock. A dinner of grilled chicken, salad with tomato and cucumbers, yogurt, and bread with water to drink. In the evening, I watch cartoons on TV. I sleep in my own room on a wooden bed with my favorite blanket. I bet some of you could make connections to self when hearing about Keon's story. And this reminds me that I know some of you guys at home are having to help out more at home. And we know that Keon had to take care of his little brother at home. And because we're at our houses more often than we used to be, I know that I bet you're having to step up and do even more work. And you're being a problem solver. And I bet Keon, even though he's in Iran, He's having to do the same thing. So give yourselves a hula hula, hula hula, hula hula. We're going to get to read the very end of the story. After getting to learn about how you're the same and different than Keon, Anya, and Romeo, we're going to keep reading to the very end. And this is my night sky. Yeah. So even though we may feel all really different and spread apart right now, we're all going through a little bit of the same thing. And we all have the same night sky. And I thought I could show you a picture of the real families that we learned about today. Okay, so let's start with Romeo from Italy. This is him and his family. And then we'll do Anya from India. This is her and her family. And lastly, Keon from Iran. He's over here with his family. Now, I hope that this story helped you really think about the things that you're going through and how you can be a part of the team, not just our small class team, but our big globe team. Because kids like you, and Anya and Keon and Romeo are all going to be working together to help make the world a better place. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.